Hey everyone, Kev the Trainer here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the classic meal that many people turn to when they wanna start eating healthy. And I'm talking about chicken, brown rice, and broccoli. So if you wanna see how this meal is prepared, stay tuned. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Kevin and I'm a NASM certified personal trainer. And on this channel, I provide workouts, recipes, reviews, and fitness tips. So if any of those things interest you, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when I post out something new. So chicken, brown rice, and broccoli. Why do people turn to these foods when they wanna start meal prepping and eating healthier? Well, there's plenty of reasons for that. So chicken is a lean meat with high nutritional value. It's low in fat and high in protein. And when your goal is to lose weight or build muscle, Protein is essential. Brown rice is a great source of complex carbohydrates that is composed of nutrient-dense whole grains. It's high in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. White rice is more processed and has less nutrients. For example, brown rice is much higher in fiber than white rice. Fiber is great because that helps you feel more satiated, so you're less likely to overeat. Broccoli is a green vegetable and superfood that provides a lot of fiber, antioxidants, and vitamins. Similar to brown rice, the nutrients that this food provides can go a long way in your weight loss journey. For a meal like this, you're looking at 390 calories, 49 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fat, and 41 grams of protein. Now let's show you how to make it. For two servings, what you're gonna need are two eight ounce chicken breasts, garlic powder, salt, and pepper to taste, extra virgin olive oil, or cooking spray oil substitute, one cup of brown rice, and two to three cups of broccoli. So I like to personally dice my chicken. You're basically going to slice the chicken into little one to two inch chunks. If you see any white yellowish part on your chicken breast, that's unnecessary fat, and you can go ahead and cut that off and set it aside. Once I have my chicken breast diced, it's good to go. Next, I'm gonna get a pan over the oven and set to medium heat. After a short while, you can tell if the pan is hot and ready by hovering your hand over to see if you can feel the heat. Go ahead and add your olive oil or cooking spray oil substitute and toss the chicken in you'll begin to hear it sizzle. Try to have the chicken spaced apart as much as possible. And we're gonna go ahead and season with our garlic powder, salt, and pepper to add some flavor. Make sure you distribute to each piece of chicken. And then we wait for about four to five minutes for it to cook. After that time has passed, we're gonna go ahead and flip each piece of chicken over. And again, we're gonna season for flavor and wait another four to five minutes for the other side to cook. Towards the end, go ahead and check to make sure all the chicken is cooked. There should be no pink at all. And if you cut into one, it should be white in the inside. For our brown rice, we're gonna need a pot or a saucepan. Set the heat to medium and pour a cup of water in. Then add in your cup of brown rice. Go ahead and stir the rice in the pot. And after you see the water start boiling, which is when you start seeing bubbles, cover the pot or saucepan with a lid. Reduce the heat and wait about 10 minutes as it simmers. Once time passes, turn off the heat and remove the lid. And your brown rice is good. For broccoli, if it isn't already separated into florets, go ahead and separate them from the stem by cutting them. You should have about two to three cups worth of broccoli florets. Like the brown rice, we're going to use a pot or a saucepan at medium heat. You only need about a half a cup of water to pour in. Then we're gonna add the broccoli and cover with a lid. It should only take three to four minutes to soften the broccoli. Now it's good. After all this, we should have enough chicken, broccoli, and brown rice for two solid servings. So this could be your lunch and your dinner if you so choose. If you wanted to make more, just adjust the amounts of each ingredient. Here's what one serving looks like, enjoy. If you like this video, a like and subscribe would be much appreciated. If there's any particular food you want to see me try and make with a healthier spin, go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.